Hello and welcome to this learning video. So here again we are going to take a problem uh, to be precise word problem on the isoperimetric topic. Okay, so here this problem says find the plane closed curve of fixed perimeter and maximum area. So whenever it comes to a perimeter means it is talking about the length. Okay, so let us start with taking two points plane. So let us take two points, say this is A and say this is B. And because I am taking points in a plane, so it must have some, uh, what, coordinates, say x1, y1 and x2, y2. For the sake of convenience, we can write x2, y2, here it is x1, y1. Okay, so these are x1, y1 and x2, y2. So, fixed perimeter. So let us uh, first of all take to get the length of this uh, uh, curve or yeah to get the uh, length or the fixed perimeter of this curve what we are going to do here is first of all we'll take a small part of it. So I am taking this small part to be this. This is ds and then it's like this. This is dx and this is dy. Okay. I will draw the magnified image of this. This we have already done in uh, other problem also. So this is my dx, this is my dy and this is my ds. So with the help of this we can write ds square is equal to under root 1 plus uh, ds square is equal to dx square plus dy square divided by dx square. So ds square is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square okay so ds is equal to under root 1 plus dy by dx whole square and we write ds is equal to s is equal to integration from x1 to x2 ds which is integration from x1 to x2 under root of 1 plus y dash square we have already seen this okay so we got the fixed perimeter s so let me write it let s be the solution to this let s be the fixed perimeter be the fixed perimeter of the curve of the curve of the curve between between what between the points, between the points, what are these points? A, x1, y1 and B, x2, y2. Then, then you can write directly as this fixed perimeter S is equal to integration from x1 to x2 under root of 1 plus y dash square dx. Simple. Okay. Now, once you get the fixed perimeter, now let us talk about the maximum area. So, if I uh, find out the area under this curve, and that can be easily done by, by making these small partition and as you can see these small partitions are nothing but the rectangles and the area of rectangles are nothing but length into breadth so i can write here if if a is the area if a is the area between the curve between the curve and and the x axis and the x axis then then i can write what is it area a is equal to what is it integration length into breadth so what is my length yes my length is dy uh, sorry dy and what is my uh, breadth is dx okay or you can take anything like so you have to take it as like integration 
1 x1 to x2 y d x okay so this is my area say this is to be equation 2 in the earlier problem both the things were given to us here we we are not given anything so but the condition is given to us so we are just uh, from our understanding we are writing this s and a okay now once you get this then you can write we have to maximize what we have to do read out the question we have to maximize area we have to maximize area okay subject to condition subject to condition what subject to condition one subject to condition this the length should have fixed okay so let let f is equal to what is f small f is equal to no this yeah small f is equal to y because we have to maximize area so that would be my f okay f is equal to y and what is the constraint parametric constraint is fixed perimeter so g is equal to under root 1 plus y dash square simple now after you write that you just uh, try to write the functional so consider the functional Consider the new functional now. Consider the functional integration x1 to x2 f of x y y dash. Let me write it. f of x y y dash dx, where where f is equal to f plus lambda g and what is this lambda lambda is lagrange multiplier lagrange multiplier okay f is equal to f plus lambda g if you want you can write f is equal to y plus lambda into under root 1 plus y dash square okay this is my f now you can just find out the uh, find out derivative of f with respect to with respect to y and y dash. Write down the equation Euler's equation. Okay. okay. Now f is this. So what is del f by del y? my del f by del y is equal to derivative of this with respect to y is there a term of y yes so derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus 0 there is no term of y next del f by del y dash so is there a term of y dash no so derivative is 0 is there a term of y dash yes so it is lambda times derivative of root x is 2 root x so this is 2 1 plus y dash square into derivative of y dash square is 2 y dash so this get cancelled simple now once you get this try to write down the Euler's equation therefore Euler's equation for f is del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. Now you have all these values. You can just substitute. So del f by del y is 1 minus d dx of what is that? d dx of this. So this is lambda y dash upon under root 1 plus y dash square is equal to 0. So, you can write this one as uh, 1 is equal to d dx of lambda y dash upon under root of 1 plus y dash square. Okay. Now, 
uh, just separate this so when you separate this you will be getting dx is equal to d of lambda y dash upon under root of 1 plus y dash square so on integrating on integrating we get so integration of 1 dx is x derivative integration get cancelled so this is lambda y dash upon under root 1 plus y dash square plus some constant of integration a okay now take this a to the left take this a to the left so you will be getting that x minus a is equal to lambda y dash upon under root 1 plus y dash square now after writing down this you just have to square it because it is not easy to integrate so we just square again variable separable and then we'll integrate okay so let me draw this now okay so on squaring i will be getting uh, x minus a whole square I am multiplying this also over here so into 1 plus y dash square is equal to lambda square y dash square okay now solve this so x minus a square into 1 so this is uh, x minus a square plus multiply this so this would be uh, x minus a okay so this is uh, x minus a whole square into y dash square is equal to lambda square into y dash square okay now you can do one thing you can take this to the left so when you take this to the left so it should be x minus a whole square plus when you take this to the left y dash square is common so we remain with lambda square minus x minus a whole square into y dash square. Okay. Yeah. So is this fine? Lambda square. Okay. So now taking y dash square on one side and this term on the other side we remain with y dash square is equal to x minus a whole square upon lambda square minus x minus a whole square simple so this is okay now taking positive square root taking positive square root what we get the moment we take positive square roots we will be getting uh, y dash is equal to x minus a upon under root lambda minus x minus a whole square simple now this y dash can be written as this y dash can be written as dy by dx okay now integrate you can then separate here so you can write here that is dy is equal to x minus a upon under root of lambda square minus x minus a whole square dx this is lambda square okay now as you can see here the variables are separated now so you can just integrate on integrating on integrating we get what is integration of dy y what is integration of this integration of x minus a upon lambda square minus x minus a square 
dx okay plus some constant of integration say b now here you can see sorry this is under root this is under root now as you can see whatever term we have in the denominator its derivative is there in the numerator what we need to adjust is derivative of this is 0 minus 2 times x minus a so minus 2 multiply minus 2 divide now integrate on integrating on integrating we get y is equal to what is it minus 1 by 2 into 2 root 2 root lambda square minus x minus a whole square plus b so this 2 get cancelled with this so uh, ok so this 2 get cancelled with this so you can take this to the left that is what is it y minus b is equal to minus of lambda square minus of lambda square minus x minus a whole square and that is in the under root okay now square it on squaring we get on squaring we get what you'll be getting after squaring it so this is y minus b whole square this minus become plus square root is over x square lambda square minus x minus a whole square that is x minus a whole square taking case this to the left plus y minus b whole square is equal to lambda square and what is this this is nothing but the equation of circle so in the uh, competitive examination the question may be asked like show that the plain closed curve of fixed perimeter and maximum area is a circle which is a very common thing that we are studying from the school days what is the curve which has the fixed perimeter so we have the length of circle fixed and circle is having the maximum area okay so this completes the problem you can write this is the required this is the required extremal so I hope this is uh, gettable for you and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me so try to solve problem on the type like this so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you